Hello everyone and welcome to this tips and tricks video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a 5-axis contouring operation. I will use it for the chamfer on the edge of my gear. Feature. I need a profile. So I'm just gonna auto-chain it and my tool will follow it. Now I need a freeform. Note that by default your tool will be normal to the green surface, so choose it wisely. Now we can create our contouring operation. For this application, I'm gonna need a chamfer mill. Then let's go to the toolpath tab. Make sure you select the right profile. If your CAD model has no chamfer, then you can put a negative stock allowance. Here, it's okay. In the strategy tab, you have three options. Contouring, chamfering, and chamfer undercut. With contouring, the Z offset becomes mandatory, but the principle remains the same. If you don't want your tool to always be normal to the surface, then you can play with it, I mean, with the orientation tab. So, for my application, X effects at 30 degrees is okay. Let's go. And here we go, the tool pass. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and do not forget to follow Esprit on social networks. Stay tuned for next videos. Bye.